Hi, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Got a problem today, my tractor won't start, and I think my problem is in my fuel line. And the reason I think that, if you can see this fuel bowl right here, should be full of fuel. And I've either got air in that line there, which I can take this loose and, and see if, if, if fuel comes out, and if it doesn't, I've got a clog in the line somewhere. And that's a pretty common problem that folks have. A lot of times if your tractor won't start and it's not getting fuel, it's probably in the fuel tank. And this has a polyurethane or plastic fuel tank on it. It doesn't have a metal fuel tank. If you have a metal fuel tank, it's not, it's not uncommon at all to get a little piece of rust that clogs that outlet where your fuel comes out. And that'll just kind of like a plug in the drain. It'll shut it off. So we're going to find out if that's the problem today. And, and around me, I've got everything I think I need to complete this. I have my little power belt air compressor, and I'm going to use it to blow air back up through the line. I have a, a couple of buckets. The blue one is my wife's scrub bucket. I don't want to use it. And then I've got a, a little container under the tractor here to, to uh, trap the diesel fuel. And then right there I've got every tool I, I know that I might need in that little toolbox. And then up, up in the seat of the tractor I have my cell phone. So in case I get in trouble I can call somebody. Uh, I'm alone here today. I shouldn't be probably doing this alone. If I get into trouble and, and say a line ruptures or something like that, I could drain a lot of diesel out. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen. Now, um, one thing I'm going to keep handy today uh, is a pair of ice grips set to a pretty narrow setting. And then if I, uh, if I get in trouble, I can, my fuel line right here, I can wrap my a rag around the fuel line and then clamp that fairly tight and that'll enable me to get this this line back on before I drain a lot of fuel out. First thing I'm going to do today is, is to uh, take my fuel filter loose with the lines open and if, if I haven't got any uh, something impeding the line, let's see that's the wrong way, there we go, there should be fuel running out when I open this up. And because there's only about a third full in the fuel bowl, I can see, I don't think there's going to be anything come out. But the line is on. I have tried to bleed the tractor uh, a couple of times uh, at the injector pump, the way you're normally supposed to do it, and nothing happened. But if I take this loose and nothing comes out, now if air comes out, that's my problem. I've got an airlock. And if, if a bunch of fuel starts coming out, see there, there should be fuel just gushing out because the fuel tank is nearly full. Nothing's coming out. So we know I'm not getting fuel here. And between here and the fuel tank is, is nothing. There, there's, that, there's, no, uh, there's no pumps or anything like that in between. So there should be fuel coming out right here and there's not. So what I'm going to do is take this line loose, put an air uh, air compressor in there, and again I'm going to have this this handy where I can clamp it if I need to. Uh, and we're going to try to blow whatever's in the tank out. Now if there is something in the tank, we'll definitely have to at some point clean that out. Now there there should be fuel coming out there, and there's not. So, here we go, we're going to do this, I'm going to take the fuel cap off, I don't think there will be a vacuum in there, I just know there won't, but I don't want to risk it. So I've got my fuel cap off, we're going to blow some air back through the line and see what happens, and if that opens this up and fuel just gushes out, that was our problem. Ah, that's our problem. Okay, now let me see if I can, I'm going to turn the line back off. All right, got it back on. Now, I'll get that clamp back on, and we'll see if when I open that up, If I've got fuel. Got 
Now there should be, when I open this up, fuel come running out there. Yep, all right. I think we may have found a problem. Now, I'm gonna put my fuel bowl back on. And I'm actually gonna, before I tighten it, I'm gonna let the air come out of it. And let that fill up with fuel. So, hey, that's what we want to see. All right, she's running out. Well, we got at least we got fuel coming to the fuel bowl. Tried to start it just now. We didn't start, so I opened up the bleeder uh, valve up here on the injector pump. Let opened it up and. Until fuel came out, let's see if it'll start now. Here are some of the tools I used in the video. I ha have this little plug-in power belt electric air compressor that I used to blow the air out of the line. Also, if you don't have one, get, get one of these little tools, a good one where you can take off oil filters and fuel filters. And I have this little, and this is nifty, it's a three-in-one creeper. It's a mechanic stool that falls into a creeper and also a chair. Uh, all these are available on my website. AskTractorMike.com and purchases help support my channel. Thank you. Appreciate you watching my videos. Here's a couple of others you might want to watch. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I would be honored. Click the mic face icon and make sure you check the bell so you get notified when I post future videos. Thanks for watching.